hey guys welcome back to the third part of third item of the second part in the last lecture we have added header and footer of our application and we also seen the usage of partial templates in this video i am going to customize and add some bootstrap component to our landing page so that this will look nicer than whatever it is right now so come to the project files and open the index.html from welcome folder we will add some content here let's create a container class container here and then add row class Add call LG nine MX LG auto. These these are all the classes defined by Bootstrap library. I'm adding a card item here, card element here. They have class card shadow let's add card body now card body and now this is the time to add some content here Add some dummy text for now or an option and refresh the page. You can see this content inside a card. So now let's add some lorem epsom dummy text. Let's add Paragraph tag here rather than P because that will make your text very larger and add class lead and FW bold and paste the content here. Now let's refresh the page. You can see that this is content that uh, we are rendering inside the car and uh, you can add. Uh, some margin top from here okay, five. now you can also add a button inside the body let's add to learn more static link so add only JavaScript void here. And add some button class. Now you can see here. This is the car, this is the button. And when we add our resource, we will add link to that resource at this button. But for now, we are adding a dummy link here. So this is how you can customize uh, your home page or your landing page. Uh, based upon your needs, you can add or remove. You can remove these components and you can add other components as you want. Uh, and you can find all the components from here. The components you can see multiple components are there like accordion alerts page breadcrumbs uh, cards that is this is the element that we have used here card elements and there are carousels and model pop-up of canvas item pagination purpose and many more things and you can also see utilities from here 
so this is a separate part of learning that is learning bootstrap 5 so i'm not going to dive into d for bootstrap uh, details here but yeah i'm just using it so i'm just giving an overview that how you can learn if you want it so you can check layout and create system that is the thing that i will recommend for you to learn this because uh, this is all about uh, dividing your browser screen into multiple chunks of grids and columns and rows so you must have idea about uh, grids columns and gutters you can check from this documentation so you have seen that we have added uh, footer header customer and added a card element to make our home page nicer here and uh, we also added uh, bootstrap jQuery and popper so that's for this part so our first two part has been finished for this series and we have covered setting up a new rails application creating custom controllers adding bootstrap and popper and jquery using yarn and uh, creating head and footers using bootstrap and in the next lecture we will actually dive into our resource creation where we will learn how what is rails mvc how mvc works and then we will use rails scarf folding to generate resources so till then tata bye bye thanks for watching